Hey beautiful souls and welcome to Wednesday night. I'm Leanne Winston. Unfortunately I couldn't seem to get my opening to come up but that is all okay. So you just have me tonight. Technology is doing its thing tonight which isn't necessarily working in my favour but that's all good. So hello, welcome. I can see that Facebook has um, just hooked, connected in as well. So just a quick reminder, I'm Leanne Winston. Uh, I am doing lives or oh, readings tonight as well as answering questions and different stuff. Spirit will lead me to where I need to go. I can see your hair sticking up. <laughs> I love it. And we do have a few people coming in. So I'm just going to put these comments up and say hello. Hey, Mum. How are you going? Sarah, hey. How are you going, hun? Joanna's here. Hey, gorgeous. And Kamara, come here. Sorry, honey, I know I've said that totally wrong, is here as well. Jacinta, hey, honey, and Amanda, and so on. So I will just keep putting your comments up as I speak because I can say hello to everybody all night. So I do ask people to help me spread the love. Invite your friends and family to join in. Uh, you never know who is going to get some information out of uh, tonight's session um, and may make help make them... Oh, English would help. I'm struggling with my English today. May help them along their healing program or their healing journey is what I am trying to say. Roz is saying she's just finished washing NCIS. Hey, Roz, good to see you here. Uh, Leanne's here. Uh, Deidre's here. Hey, gorgeous ladies. And Tamara as well. As I said, I will keep going and just keep putting your comments up so you know that I am seeing them as well say hi to those ladies that are coming in all right so i will get around to doing some readings very shortly but i also ask people uh, to leave a direct question um so whether they want something that is like a direct question that answered that way or if they would like a card pull please hashtag card so we've got my mine and deb's inner soul guidance oracle cards and if anybody wants to purchase a deck of these you can go to innersoulguidance.com.au uh, and order them there and we can post them out or you can do it through leannewinston.com as well um, and deb is out at different markets and stuff and i think by memory this weekend she is out at Gola Barossa Valley. Thanks, Roz. Um, fair, psychic Fair this weekend. I don't know if it's Saturday, Sunday or just Saturday, but maybe you need to, if you're interested, please do look that up as well. Deidre's giving us the hearts. Kerry is here. Kerry uh, and uh, I am brain fried today. It has been a full-on week, I tell you, but at the same time, I am so honoured to have so many beautiful uh, souls completing my beginner's level on one online classes at the moment, the development classes. So, so many gorgeous people are opening up into their issue, intuition at the moment and really starting to follow that side of it. So um, if you're interested in developing your own intuition, please certainly do let me know. Uh, I have the online side of it happening. And then in the first weekend of June, I am running a level two in class in North Adelaide as well. So, so excited to be getting back into class as well with that. Okay, so we've got that coming up. Um, what else have we got coming up? There's all sorts. So unfortunately this weekend I was supposed to be heading off to Renmark, but due to COVID showing its face, we have had to postpone that for two or three weeks. So um, as soon as I get around to probably Monday or Tuesday next week and having a clearer picture of what's going on, I will be, Roz and I will be rescheduling that as well. So if you're in that area, um, please do let uh, your friends and family know that we are still coming. So I was a little bit disappointed in not being able to do that this weekend but it really is what it is. All right, so let me know if you've got any questions in the comments that you would like to know about intuition because so many people 
are experiencing intuition and it can be diagnosed as anxiety or thought um, experienced as anxiety and depression. Now, I do want to make, a clear, make it clear that I am not trained in medical in any way, shape or form. The information I do give when I touch on medical is very much uh, guided by spirit, but there is, I believe, and this is only my beliefs and what I've experienced through my clients and what spirit tells me, there is a fine line between what is mental health and what is intuition. So if you're somebody that is suffering at the moment or experiencing a lot of anxiety, please do take notice of what's going on in your life at that time. And I always say spirit connects with us by, um, so I always say trust what you feel, you think, you see, you hear, you know, okay? If it does persist, please do get it checked out um, as well because, like I said, I am not a doctor in any shape or form, but I do see a lot of highly intuitive people at the moment Um finding or aligning more in their intuition is probably the better word to put it and it is happening at such an involved height in heightened rate at the moment so a lot of people have gone from not sort of being aware of their intuition and what they are feeling sorry guys just got to tickle my throat um <laughs> the more i'm talking today the worse that's getting but i've got my glass of water ready so i if, like I said, a lot of people are experiencing this opening up to their intuition, it's always been there. We were born into this lifetime with a clear slate of intuition. It's through time that we have been um, conditioned and taken on other belief systems or whatever it is that we've needed that has blocked that. And so many people at the moment are being pushed to step back into their intuition and align with it. And a lot of you, and let me know if this resonates with you in the comments, because I'm sure it will resonate with a lot of you. A lot of you will find that things are just so out of balance, so out of whack that you are constantly being tested. Everything's such hard work that you're always trying to keep your head above water sort of thing. Um, you're very much sitting in that hustle sort of energy. Now, I do notice that we do have a scammer there. Please do not inbox them or send them a friend's request because they will hack your pages. And I'm sure Roz is probably taking care of that in the background as well as we go. So thank you, Roz, if you're able to do that on your system at the moment. And so it is really about acknowledging your intuition and it really is about understanding it and learning how to control it rather than switching off to it and finding that the anxiety and the depression goes through the roof, all right? So if you're finding things are a bit out of whack, um, <laughs> Leanne's saying housekeeping needed. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's busy in the background, I'm sure. Um, and so if you're, like I said, if you're finding that things are just so out of balance, out of whack, you're constantly trying to um, get on top of things, that nothing flows very easily, you're always working hard to make things happen. Go back into your spiritual alignment. Go back into grounding yourself, doing the breath work. And when we do this stuff and we clear out the past stuff, the stuff that creates fear, blockages, trauma and that, we can actually allow room for the magic to happen. And that's what this year is very much about and this decade even is about allowing the flow to go through as it's needed. So many of us are stuck in old habits, old things. Deb, appreciated that, appreciate that. And, guys, you can do the same thing. You can hit the three little dots at the end of that comment Report it to Facebook as a scammer or as a fake page. They will block and then block it so they can't actually message you directly. All right. Like I said, they are scammers. Um, and if they're not, they certainly do not hold very high morals when they are approaching other people's audiences as well. So Roz is letting me know she is doing the moderation, moderating, <laughs> moderation in moderation, Roz. <laughs> I just seen a glass in your hand, honey. Um, thinking of Friday night. Uh, moderation in the back. Moderating. There we go again. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Thank you, Rose. I really do appreciate that. So, and once again, they do change names. So if you're seeing that, keep blocking them. Um, yeah, so like I said, go back into the grounding, taking the doing the breath work, um, just realigning yourself in that energy. And we will find when that happens that the magic will flow. You've done all the hard work in the past, right? So this energy now needs to bring itself back in and start putting that hard work that you've done in the past into play. We need to take action. We need to be motivated. We need to have that clarity in our lives, what we're working towards. And honestly, I think the more that we can do that, the more things really get exciting things happen and I've witnessed it in myself in the last two or three weeks with just changing my mindset doing the practices that I teach and making that time for myself and not sitting in that hustle so much and when you're doing that watching how things do flow so you don't need to sit on burnout which I guess now looking back I, I feel like I've sat in burnout for quite a long time now but by changing stuff and finding that balance again and reminding myself that it, it is needed, you really do see patterns change with that. Okay. Uh, Tracy, hey, honey, I'm sorry I miss you guys this weekend, but I'm sure you would have got my message earlier. She says, hi, lovely. I repeatedly dream I can't cannot get home for somewhere. What is this telling me? All right. So... I would be interested in um, more so what else comes up in the dreams with that side of it. So to me, it's like you're looking for home. So we, it could be not necessarily, you know, looking for where you live. It could be more so where you fit. So whether you're finding that you're going through a transformational period where you need to um, sit in your passions, you need something that you can thrive in in that sense. So it could be career related even. So let me know how that sits with you, if that resonates with you in what you are having in your dreams as well with that side of it. Roz, I don't know if you've noticed there's another one there as well. So it's making my list really long. Wow. And the funny thing is, by those people making these comments, it pushes our, um, our stats up in the background for Facebook for those that follow that stuff. Not that I'm huge on that. So, Tracy, hopefully that helps. And I will be in contact uh, early next week with the rescheduling of that. Ashley says, uh, if I may ask, babe, when do you see me getting pregnant? Really would love to some insight. I do see that pregnancy test coming through this year, but I am very much drawn more so in the later part of this year. So uh, I keep hearing August onwards, all right? I know you would like it sooner, um, but I'm hearing August onwards is very much the focus around that, all right? So sending you much love. All right, well, let's get in. Um, <laughs> there's another one there. It's funny, we can have shows where we don't have these clowns jumping in um, and then we have shows where we go nuts. So last week I had none. This week it looks like we've got at least three of them there as well. Hey, Kim, how are you going, honey? Um, I'm not bringing that one up because that was a scam. Linda, how are you going, honey? She says, uh, how are you, sweetheart? May I have a card? Also, I dream a lot but can't remember them. Okay, so let me do a card in a moment for you. I want to touch on the dreams because this is quite often that common for people not to remember their dreams so basically what is happening is on that dream level you're not remembering what it is when you wake up the soul is getting the information that it needs okay but the head doesn't need to know that information so soul deep stuff the, the head, what I call the ego at times, doesn't need to focus on that side of it. So it's totally normal that you don't remember them. I do say to some people, if they really are bothered by it, keep a notepad and pen near the next to your bed at night. And when you wake up, 
um, try to write down what you do remember because you might get glimpses of little things or you you're also setting your intention to um, to to store that information as well all right we have Ruth here saying she is a newbie so hey Ruth I just want to go back to Lynn, Lena because she did ask for a card before I get too sidetracked now I am using my inner soul guidance oracle card deck tonight and you have the fire honey and it's very much about taking control find that fire within you look at what drives you and really sit in that power on the soul deep level all right so wishing you all the very best with that and finding that focus okay um Tracy says, look forward to hearing from you and rescheduling. Certainly, Han. Um, yeah, like I said, I was a little bit disappointed when I was told I can't go anywhere until at least Monday. So, but that is all good. Georgie says, uh, greetings, gorgeous Leanne. I feel like I'm in a trans transition. Is there any messages for me? Biggest hugs and blessings, sweet, gorgeous, uh, sweetheart and Georgie. Thank you, gorgeous, for the beautiful um, messages and all those wonderful hearts. Now, it doesn't surprise me that you feel like you're in that transitions period because the universal energy is moving really rapidly and we are going through major changes. I get allow this time to flow, all right? So rest, recuperate, and just allow it to take its course, okay? It's going to pass very quickly, but it's like you're evolving very quickly as well, so at a much higher rate than what you are used to, all right? I do have a male, an older male figure around you, and I feel like I've got a grandfather that's watching over you and just wants to make his presence now, and so all the best and much love there too. Um, all right, let's bring Alicia up and say hello to gorgeous Alicia. <laughs> did I get your email for? You did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see if I can work this out. Um, Facebook is going to do its thing again. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We've got lots. two of us. It's giving me D as well as you. Sorry, D. I'll come back to you. <laughs> oh, there we are. Now we have it working. So uh, let me hit off there. Oh, seriously? All right. It's just going to be you. It seems like I can okay. have three screens or I can have one. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I know they have gone through transition, like a, um, a change in the things at the moment. So, Ros, if yeah. you know what I'm doing wrong, please sing out. <laughs> How are you, honey? A long time no see. You've been busy, I girl. Know. It has, it's been a while. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing really well. Thank you. You keeping well? Yeah, not too bad. That's good i'm just going down to pick cards up i'll show you the card in a second so did you have a question you'd like to ask um probably anything for my sister okay the card is oh you can't see me <laughs> i can it's tiny though you can, can? oh so you guys can see me in the corner okay i'll bring it up while i do it so the card that jumped out and it's funny because this card really went flying um before as i brought you up to say hi and was trying to sort out what was going on with the camera so it is very much about the connections with the spiritual realm so loved ones are very much around her knowing that she's not alone so i don't know if she's yeah. going through something at the moment and she's in two minds i just feel like she's feeling very much up in the air in that way okay it is about taking a step back taking a deep breath and grounding herself and i'm drawn to the bottom line of this and it says receiving guided messages from above so the messages are coming through she needs yes. to get out of her head and just listen okay. okay everything is going to work out okay okay all right she worries you a little bit at times oh i just know that she could probably do with a message and i was like <laughs> i'm one tonight so my shift got cancelled because they're in iso um <laughs> so am i, I went, hang on because <laughs> i was gonna offer to pull her cards and i went no i know too much about the situation that and i was yeah. like I'll ask a third party and you popped up. So I was like, here we go, winner. Perfect. You you asked and they received. They gave, yeah. delivered, I should say. <laughs> so, yeah, it, I love the timing of things, the way things are falling into place 
for a lot of people yeah. at the moment. So, um, but I just feel she's very much in her own head, very much thinking a lot sort yeah. of things. So it is very much about just grounding that energy as yeah. well. So, and the family's doing well? Yeah, pretty good. Mum, um, like, so we saw Nana, I saw Nana the other day, I dropped off for brownie mm. and mum's been away and back again. Oh, yeah. beautiful. I love it. So, yeah. oh, that's good. Well, give them my love, won't you? I will. And we, we still need to plan that catch up when I can get out of here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we keep saying that every time. We do. We really need to just get on the phone one day and book it in our calendars. <laughs> yeah. Sort of so, yeah, beautiful. All right, honey. Well, it was good to see you. You take care. You too. And Thank you. Hopefully I can work these screens out. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. Sending lots of love. Bye love for now. You. Thanks. See ya. Thanks. Bye. All right, so we'll bring Dee up. Hey, Dee, how are you going? Oh, hang on, I've got to unmute you. Hello. There we go. How are you? I'm really excited and really good. That's good. Oh, what are we excited for? Um, Bryce has got an interview tomorrow. Yay. And I've just got this really good, excited feeling about it. Yeah, excellent. That's wonderful. Well, stick with that and trust your intuition is the reference I get. So to me, I get the feeling there's a lot of positive energy around it as well. Yeah. So exciting time. pushing us down that path. Yep, good. And I love the fact that you're listening. You're, you know, you are sort of um, following that side of it. So stay in that space, stay in that higher conscious energy where it feels really good. And just breathe through it, breathe through the heart space, all right, because it's bringing I, that I love. I haven't had a choice. <laughs> it's good. It's amazing when we can let go of the control, mm -hmm. what can actually happen. And control, I mean by worry, stress, stuff like that. Yeah, it's um, something is pushing us. Like when we moved to here, something was pushing. Yeah. And that yeah. feeling is back. Yeah. We get a lot of that sort of thing and... I think, well, I feel we're going to get more and more of that this year where we are yeah. being pushed, we are being guided sort of thing and we're having those aha moments. Well, can it guide me to money? <laughs> you bring that in. It's all <laughs> a practice, honey. <laughs> so, And it really is because we need to align ourselves in that balance of money and not the scarcity of it. Mm. So when we can feel that and feel ourselves align with that energy, it's an amazing feeling. And I do it myself. You know, you go into these times where you go, oh, my God, it's all a struggle, blah, blah, blah. But I'm actually making a point to, uh, to um, what am I doing, meditate <laughs> every day. And when I'm doing that, there's more magic happening. The flow is happening. It's more balanced yeah. sort of thing. And all of a sudden I'm getting um, emails going, such and such has just signed up for this course or this person has booked this sort of mm. thing. And it's things that I wouldn't have expected people to be doing or giving it much thought, but people are needing this stuff. So, yeah, yeah. so see it coming in. See yourself. All right, I'll, I'll set you a, a challenge how is that <laughs> okay I'm and, and this is something anybody can do so what I want you to do is do a little bit of a meditation and still your mind and the cats agreeing with me as well in the background <laughs> um and see a nice big pile of money all right and that pile can be as big as you want it to be and see yourself sitting across the table from it okay mm -hmm. And this is something that I heard from somebody else. So this isn't actually my thing, yeah. but I do feel that it works, okay? So, and then imagine yourself getting up out of that chair and walking around the table and sitting in the chair that's piled up with money. So what you're doing is bringing your energy field and the field, uh, the energy field, the vibration of money together mm -hmm. and you become one. So what you're doing is you're aligning yourself in that high vibration where money sits and becoming even with it yep. instead of that scarcity and fighting, grabbing, you know, panic, or hassle sort of mode type of thing. So, and it's, and then I also like to see it coming into my heart. So I breathe out love. And when I'm breathing back in, I'm bringing that money in and filling yep. my treasure chest, so to speak. 
So, and when I'm doing those practices, I am finding, like I said, I get those emails going, such and such has just uh, signed up for this, such and such has, you know, purchased yeah. that. So try it, see how it goes. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But the, the trick is to stay in that energy, all right, because the first couple of times I did it, it was like, oh, yeah, money's flowing. I don't need to worry about this now. Yep. And my focus, my energy shifted and dropped, so then the money flow dropped. Mm. So I wasn't sitting in that balance. And I'm a big believer of where the mind goes, and you've probably heard me say this a dozen or more times, that's where the energy flows. So yes. if you're going into that scarcity of money, you're creating that scarcity. All right. Yep. <laughs> so see it coming in. So hopefully that might help a few people to sort of just sort of rethink about what your practices are in your mindset with, around money. You know, we, we can actually have blockages from our upbringing, our past lives around yes. money, but we're carrying other people's energy, not our own. So we don't, we can choose not to keep those money blocks going. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. Did you have a question, honey, you'd like to ask? Yeah, I um, did have a question was um, the, oh, God, <sighs> um, the interview is going to go well tomorrow? Yes. <sighs> Sorry, just grabbing a mouthful of water. <laughs> <laughs> I got yes. So yeah. going, going into tomorrow with no judgment, okay, so the card, let me just bring my screen back up so we're having those issues again. <laughs> okay, so the judgment card that I have pulled is um, you do not know the pathway others have walked. What's your motives? No judgment required. Yep. Now, as much as you do know the pathway your husband has walked, mm -hmm. um, Go into it with no judgment. Go into it with an open heart yes. and allow yourselves to receive, okay? He needs to believe in himself. Walk in there like he and feel that he believes in himself, Yeah. All right? Um, because that judgment can also be internal as well. So it's not always about the judgment we have for others. It can be the judgment that we put on ourselves at times. I, I know it in him. He is so talented. It's just... Yeah. That's you, it. I know he's got it there. Yeah, I so love it. I do have something to ask. Is a pendulum the same as a necklace with a ring? Pretty much. It's a very similar sort of concept. So, so if you use a necklace with a ring, you don't need to buy a pendulum? Not necessarily, no. If it works for you, use it. Cool. So, you know, um, a ring on a string sort of thing or a chain, pardon yeah. me, is um, very much old-fashioned, old wives' tales and stuff with the pregnancy side of stuff and yeah. that. It's the same concept. You are aligning your energy with that piece of equipment, that tool, and you ask the questions. Do the same thing. Put your hand under it. Ask it to show you a yes and no. Yes and no and yes. Maybe so sort of thing and see what it comes up and then ask the questions. And you yeah. may find like a pendulum, pardon me, I scoffed tea tonight. <laughs> it's coming back to repeat on me now. You will find with a pendulum, um, they will calibrate themselves to our energy at times. So they'll sit and do this little shaky yeah. sort of movement. My guess is you'll probably find a ring will do the same thing. It does. It shakes and then it yeah. goes round and it's like, have I got someone with Parkinson's up there or? <laughs> Hello. No, it, it's <laughs> just calibrating to your energy. It's aligning itself with your energy. Yeah, because I, I like my necklace with the cross and then I put my wedding ring on it and that's what I've always used. Yeah, perfect. So yeah. if it works for you, keep doing it. There's nothing cool. wrong with that. So I love the fact that your mind goes, have I got somebody with Parkinson's? <laughs> <laughs> it just shows that I'm like... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's beautiful. All right, Han. Well, all the best for this week. And I've uh, got everything crossed, positive thoughts, and I'm sure things are going to work out well. It will, and I'll let you know how it goes. Excellent. Beautiful. All okay. right. Take care. Have a good week, Han. Yeah. Uh, see you. Bye. All right, excellent. And, you know, there's so many different tools that we can use 
to align ourselves in those energies and ask the questions. You don't just have to use cards. You use what is right for you. Georgie says that manifestation energy meditation is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. You are very welcome, honey. I'm I'm pleased I can help. And like I said, that is actually something that I have come across from somebody else. So, um, and it resonated with me to be able to feel myself connect with that energy. I actually seen the the massive pile sitting on the chair and overloaded onto the table. And I just did like the big star fish um, or angel floating back into it and falling in it and filling the money supporting. Uh, I, I think the words I got was this money loves me. It supports me and everything I do was what came through for me when I did that. But I just, I love falling into it and feeling the way it supported you. So take note of how it feels. Uh, Julie says, sorry for your loss, Sarah. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm reading that and it hadn't, didn't come back up on the screen. Let's go back up to Sarah. Hi, can I please have some guidance? My son's father passed Saturday and I don't know what to feel except confused. All right, honey, my heart goes out to you. Sorry, spirit's playing with my nose all of a sudden. Um, my heart goes out to you and your family, especially your son, um, in that way. Now, please know it is normal to feel confused because it's going to bring up a lot of mixed emotions and you need to give yourself time to grieve as well. So everybody grieves in a different way and it is very much about just acknowledging what comes up. For me, I get the feeling you're going to go through the emotions. So you'll go through the, you know, the hate, the love, the miss, that type of thing with that. So, and there is nothing wrong with that. All right. I feel that you need to ground yourself and just take a deep breath and take the pressure off yourself at the moment because I do feel that you are getting very much in your head as well with that, okay? Um, with his energy, I kind of feel like here one moment, gone the next. His energy is not very strong at, at all, but I also feel that you know exactly what the words are your son needs to hear. So um, I just get there's a lot of love and a lot of support around that. I also feel your frustration at the same time, honey. Okay. So sending you lots of love and healing and um, big hugs. All right. Same to your son. Okay, hun. I hope that helps and not over sort of overcrowds the mind even more. Okay. Because I do feel like your mind is very busy at the moment. All right. Let's jump in and quickly say hi to Tony. And I'll unmute her. So, all these beautiful souls I'm bringing up on screen are part of my Inner Circle membership. Say, so, hey, honey, how are you going? I'm good. Thank you. I love your group. It's really good. It's, it's um, helping me with uh, confirmation and clarity, as also um, giving me more information, too. Oh, beautiful. I'm pleased that I can help. I, I just love the beautiful souls that have come together inside of my, I've got the two memberships and it's, yeah, it, I'm just honoured to have such gorgeous souls, like-minded people coming together and supporting each other. Yeah, it's great. Um, there's been, and I've had an interesting experience just the last week. Um, mm -hmm. I've, I've ast been astral travelling. Okay, yep. Now, I did see inside the... Sorry, what was that, honey? First time I've ever done it. Well, the first time that I know about it. Oh, no, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so um, just before I forget, I did see inside of the members group that you asked that question, and I do plan on getting back to that in the next oh, day or two. I'm not sure. I thought, hang on, have I already spoken to you about this or not? <laughs> no, I don't think so, and it was a really good question, so I will touch on that. Uh, we'll get back on do a live in the next uh, day or two and answer that question for you. So, And because that was asked inside of the Inner Circle group, and that is a private group, I will keep that just for there. But astro travel, so it's the first time that you've done it. Um, you and, are, yeah, go on. Sorry, the experience I had was my, I didn't see my body, on, 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 you know, in bed, but I knew it was there. Yep. And I knew I was looking down from my body. And then I, um, and then I was flying over to this, like, government type house. Yep. It was like state housing type house. Yeah, and then, um, but I don't know whereabouts it was. It was somewhere in the world, 
And also I was sort of like seeing this future scene as well. So Perfect. Do you remember what was in that scene? No, that's the thing. I don't yeah. know. I'm trying to remember. It was really it was really future sort of like um I don't know, it's, yeah, it had blue and red colours in it and yeah. Um it was really futuristic and oh Yeah. Just beautiful by the sound of it. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. it was different, really yeah. different. Okay, and it doesn't surprise me that you don't necessarily remember what was in it because I believe sometimes we don't need to know that stuff, all right? That the soul will travel and do the astro travel when we are sleeping. So it's like a healing process. I always say it's the soul returning home to do the healing while we allow the physical body to do the healing, okay? Um, I find myself when I first started doing it, I would have to, because it's scared the shit out of me mind you good. <laughs> yeah I would imagine a rope tied to like my bed frame and then um the other end of it be tied around my waist and that helped me to find the confidence in letting go of the fear of astro traveling because it was always that fear that I'm not going to get back I'm not going to return home yeah. back to my body sort of thing with that so two or three times of doing it i made sure i had that lifeline there so to speak with that okay these days i do it without even realizing it but i usually know when i do it because i come back and i am not very good at landing gently so i come back into my body with that major jolt sort of thing and sometimes that jolt is enough to actually wake my husband up and go he goes are you okay <laughs> sort of thing because i literally jump in bed sort of thing okay. so yeah, and I remember one day actually being the Pope standing in the window over this massive courtyard full of thousands of people and my husband and my kids woke up from obviously a deep sleep in the middle of the night with me screaming out some other language. It wasn't English. He says it was wow. like you were preaching to somebody and I remember seeing myself standing in this window and looking over a, a massive um group of people and just seeing their heads sort of thing like i was the pope sort of thing so we will experience different things in that yeah. sense but it is it's a level of healing it's you know we can travel between you know this world and others back That's in time forward experience. it's awesome I, I, I was overwhelmed and as like you said scared at first but that yeah. overcome me and then I was overwhelmed and excited. Yeah, and it's the same like with a lot of intuitive stuff. People have that fear, that fear steps in and that flight and fight mode sort of takes over. So we've both got us on the both, both on the same screen, but we have a blank screen in between, so I'm not going to touch it at the moment. We'll leave it that way. Um, so it is very much we do go into that fear, flight and fight mode type of thing. For me, it is just about, I, I recommend to people, just relax, go with it. You're safe and you are supported sort of thing. Okay. So so if you do find that fear takes over, do the rope, do the, you know, that way you can pull yourself back in if you need to. And when you jolted, do you ever find that you've hurt your shoulder or hurt yourself because you're not jolt, you've not jolted properly? You know, <laughs> I think I think it's more not landing properly <laughs> sort of thing, yeah, does it? Yeah. yeah. My husband reckons I lift off the bed when I do it. So I'm literally airborne when I do it sort of thing. And it's my whole body. Like I'll be laying flat in bed and my whole body just jumps like a whole and does he shock feel it? Yeah, it wakes him up at times. It wakes Why me not? up. So when I land and I jolt, that actually wakes me up out of like my sleep. Wow. So, like I said, I'm not a light lander. <laughs> and I've been doing it for years and I cannot, I definitely wouldn't pass flying a plane if I landed that way <laughs> sort of thing. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. So did it hurt you afterwards, like in the beginning, like it hurt your muscles or anything like that? Um, I can't remember if it hurt my muscles and stuff like that, but it was enough to sort of wake me up and scare me that I'd done it. And it did take me a little while to realise that's what I was doing. Like it was more the point I realised 
through doing a workshop and the mentor talking about astro travel and I'm going hang on I've been doing that for a while is that what I'm doing so yeah so it's really interesting on how that works <laughs> Okay, yeah. and just one more question, if that's okay. Yeah. Just wanted to know on my workshop business um, how you feel that will start going. Yeah. And if I'm I, doing it the wrong way. Okay. Um, I get it's going to be a steady process. So to me, I don't feel like it's going to take off in the way that you want it to, but it's going to be a steady journey that will build up sort of thing. But I get your learning as you're going to yeah. sort of yeah. thing. So, so that will grow as you grow. Okay. All right. So where do you need to do more study? Sorry? Where do you need to do more study? Where? Yep. I'm doing some more study with a, a, um, another, a, a friend of mine that's in England, actually. Okay. And and, and she's, like, expanding my knowledge, um, my, yeah. um, my knowledge of my um, guides and everything like that, by strengthening my abilities, which is really good. Perfect. So keep doing yeah. that because as you're learning, you're going to help, you're going to use that stuff to help teach others. Oh, awesome. That's All awesome. right. Yep. Yeah, you're heading in the right direction. Awesome. Thank you, darling. I you're welcome. That. Good to see you. Take care. Yeah, you too. All Thank right. You. Thanks, hon. Okay. Bye. 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 All right. Excellent. Ah, never got Tony back. <laughs> All right, I need that button, I think. <laughs> Weird things are going on here in the background. Hey, Julie, how are you going, hun? I don't know if I said hi to you. Um, we'll just do a couple more questions here in the... Um, oh, my neck's going stiff. Uh, Cara, how are you, honey? I'm uh, I am really struggling and need to know he's okay i get yes with that i get a very strong yes with that okay with your energy honey i actually get pain across my forehead with you so um just sort of i don't want to say the third eye but i do want to say right across with that so whether you're holding on to a a lot of tension there i do get the reference to it's really important to just take a deep breath ground yourself at the moment and restructure things in that way okay so wishing you all the very best there as well my mum says will everything go okay saturday please yes what is saturday what haven't you feel being on i will find out but i get a yes with that mum okay uh joey says hey leanne could i have a card please certainly honey um uh, well that one wants to jump out at you oh the turtle um the turtle card comes up a bit lately for people and this is very much about uh, let me read it to you uh, endurance persist, persistence and perception will keep you steady on your path find a slower and steadier pace so whether you're finding it and i'm really drawn to the hustle and the bustle lately with people so whether you've been hustling a lot lately more than normal i do get the reference to it is about slowing things down taking a breath bringing that back within all right and things will flow the way they need to so all the best there honey uh for you as well all right let's see if i can bring the gorgeous jen jen up and say hello to her hey honey how you going hey. good how you going good all right let me just give this a little flick and see what happens all right, I'm going to turn. <laughs> I, I'm using Alicia's screen. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to make everybody dizzy, aren't I? No, it's not going to do it. I'm just going to put you on. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. So it worked before. Alicia's screen came up and I had three screens and then I could um, turn her camera off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alicia, I'm playing with your camera on my end sort of thing. So that sounds funny, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Time to set in. How's your yeah. week been? Good, good. It's been it's been quick. Um, yeah. It feels like it was yesterday that I jumped online and I saw your message saying that you weren't you weren't on. So I hope everything was okay. Yes, I had to um, come to the rescue. 
All right. <laughs> yeah, then we went to town and uh, my oldest daughter's boyfriend's car broke down on the other side of town in the oh. dark and oh. it was quite a late night by the time we got it sorted. But I got him fixed. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other week I went for a COVID test and they finished swabbing me and they said, oh, okay, yep, you're good to go now. And I went to turn my car over and it just didn't work. <laughs> And there was a whole <laughs> lineup of cars behind me. Oh, bad timing. <laughs> it really makes you wonder how many times that happens to people because something like I think oh, a while back when we had a massive surge sort of thing, um, yeah. my daughter spent something like eight hours in line and yeah. she was there most of the night type of thing. Yeah. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, people have got air conditioners going or heating or radios yeah. or whatever. So you yeah. can, they need somebody there with a battery pack that can just jump start people. Yeah. Well, apparently the the guy, the security guy there, said that it happens so often that they were yeah. thinking of just um, setting the RAA up there, but the RAA apparently couldn't um, spare the number of trucks, yeah. but they couldn't have them taken off the road. And I was like, well, you don't need a truck. You just need one of those like portable batteries. Jump packers. Yeah. 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 And, and um, he was saying that he couldn't help me because yeah. if there was some kind of problem then apparently he would be liable like his health would be liable and i'm just like oh, yeah that's so ridiculous um <laughs> so yeah. what they do push you out the way <laughs> they push me out the way and um for everyone out there raa is free at covid sites like at covid testing sites oh wow so, yeah, I'm not an RAA member and I didn't know that, so I just called my sister because I knew all I needed was a jump and I yeah. carried jumper cables around with me. So ironically, I sat there while, like, you know, dozens and dozens of cars went past me and I was like, <laughs> you could jump me, you could jump me. That's it. Jump me. <laughs> exactly. That's it. I yeah. um I had a battery pack. I reckon I paid about $120 oh. for it. So it was sort of because I've got like at the moment got a four-wheel drive yeah. so i've got sort of a dearer one because the battery pulls more um and you just charge it up at home in your powerpoints type of thing and then when you use it you just hook it to your batteries turn the car over and it will start nice. mine actually went kaput because i think you need to charge them regularly and i hadn't used it so it oh. didn't hold the power for yeah. as long as it probably should type right, of yeah. thing but yeah. i highly recommend anybody go out and buy one yeah. sort of thing and having your boot so because yeah. like my daughter's boyfriend he thought it was his alternator and he thought um, it was on it was way out for a couple of weeks but it was actually yeah. his battery okay. and i'm like just let me hook up the jumper leads he's like no 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 i've got the, the um road assistance his wasn't raa it was something to do with his insurance coming yeah. and they're going to be an hour i'm like I can have you out of here in 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he persisted and persisted and he's like, oh, okay, because he, <laughs> he, he doesn't handle stress too well. <laughs> sort of and that's all it was. He went and bought a new battery the next morning and he was fine, but well, it took a few hours. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the thing. Like I, I went, the first time that it happened, I went and bought um, jumper leads and they're like 20 bucks. Yeah, that'll um, do. And I've, I've used them, I think, twice. But yeah. each time, like it's not as if um, now my my car struggles to start. Like it starts fine. Yeah. So I'm like, well, do I need a new battery or not? Like I don't, I don't know. I need to. Um, actually, I should go and get them to test It'll my test battery. It. See yeah. How much, like sometimes, yeah. Sometimes the the water, distilled water in it that hmm. holds the charge or whatever it does gets low. Sort yeah. Of thing. So yeah. yeah, unless I've hmm. developed batteries better than they did years ago <laughs> i remember having to put distilled water into mine years ago <laughs> so but i don't think they make them like they used to like my um oh okay mum i just seen mum's comment oh good mum um i yeah my husband's gone through one in 12 months when he was doing uber sort of thing so oh, wow and they were like two three hundred dollar batteries so they weren't wow. cheap batteries <laughs> Jesus. so yeah so wow. hey any news on the uh job applications yeah so um applied for two jobs yep one i did not get like at but it was a bit of a stretch and when i called to get feedback like they were like look the person that was successful um has experience in this 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 is this and i was like yep there i probably would have given them the job as well <laughs> um yeah 
Yeah, but they said that they had about 20, 25 applicants. I got shortlisted to the top 12. Wow. And then they interviewed, I think, four or five of them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I didn't get an interview, but that I'm okay with that. Like I was really yeah. happy with the, um, with the response. Like they said, there's nothing wrong with your CV. It just kind of depends on who else applies at the time. Yeah. And I was like, yep, I get that's that. It. Like that's fine. Um, and the other job I'm a little bit shirty about because okay. – um, I interviewed on a Friday and they said, because I asked specifically, they said that they were going to um, let me know by the Monday, which I thought was really quick. I heard yeah. nothing on the Monday, so I was like, okay, I assume that I didn't get it, but I always like feedback anyway, like just yeah. to see, you know. Um, and so I called them on the Wednesday to just see if I could get some feedback, uh, yeah. left a message for them to give me a call back and I still have heard nothing and it's been, it's a week today um, wow. since leaving that message and that is literally like the fourth or fifth message that I've left with them to call me back. Like I, I called them a couple of times before applications even closed because I had some questions and they didn't get back to me and it's just left a really like sour taste in my mouth. Like I'm, I'm just yeah. like it. it's... I find it quite disrespectful because yeah. it take time to apply for jobs. It's not easy with the applications that I'm doing. Like, they're quite intense. Yeah. Um, I took time off from work in order to attend the interview. And so it's like, you know, the very least that you could do is return my call. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, see, I agree. And, you know, my husband's gone through a couple, but he hasn't heard from and had to chase up and it takes weeks and weeks. And I'm yeah. just thinking, I agree, it's disrespectful and it's mm. not hard just to send back an application, thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. But I like the idea of feedback because that way it helps you for next time Absolutely. When, you, when you're looking at a job, different ways yeah. of looking at things, what people are looking for. Yeah. So and, and I know like a lot of it is luck of the draw kind of timing and things like so before I got the job that I have now I went for another job within the same agency but two levels lower than yeah. what I am now and I didn't even get an interview like just got a email saying thanks but no thanks and I was like oh okay um and then I got this one I didn't think that the interview process was particularly difficult like you know sometimes you get asked questions and you're like oh I'm you know you're really stumping me but I, yeah. I didn't feel that way about this and it's like I said two levels higher than that other one so you just you just yeah. never know. You can't take it personally, and I don't take that's it. Personally. it. No, that's just, it. Yeah. yeah, with this with this other one, I was just like, even if they came to me now, I kind of feel like my response would be, well, you, the the like your response has demonstrated perhaps some systemic issues that. I had underestimated and it's probably not an environment in which I would be um, enthusiastic to enter. Yeah, but yeah. it's fair enough because mm. if they can't do that, are they going to give you the support when sport's needed? Yeah, like I, I kind of, like it's in Northern Australia and I know that they, things are a little bit looser and, you know, chaotic and whatever else. Like I, I get that, I understand that. That's something that I can uh, work with, but, Returning a phone call is pretty basic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need to go on interviews like Ros last Friday. Oh, go yeah, Sophia yeah. while she was there oh. on the location. It was a haunted building <laughs> that the yeah. business was working out of. So yeah. did you have a question that you'd like to ask? I don't know if you can answer this or not. And I don't, I'm like, do I want to ask this? Do I not want to ask this? I'm not too sure. Do I really want to know? Well, <laughs> you I'm know still, the answer. I'm still tossing up something in my head and I'm like, do I want to know? It's, uh, yeah. Not yet is the but, reference I get. It's yeah, on I'm the like, timing. Let's, let's leave it a week and I'll, I'll see if I'm ready then to to ask i love the way you say that because i just said like you know not yet it's all in the timing you go oh, i'll ask in a week <laughs> yeah i'm like let's just let's just sit on it like it doesn't yeah nothing necessarily needs to to happen no. nothing in a rush or anything like that but okay here's here's a question um do you have any direction in terms of uh my work and jobs given those things have now fallen through um, yeah, any any guidance with that? 
All right. So I'm actually drawn to something bigger and better coming through sort of things. So to me, I think you're right where you need to be just for now. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel this is a stepping stone type of thing for where you are now. So look at what comes up within the government sector. And I'm very much drawn to around September with that side of uh, August, September. Okay. So, um, and I do feel it will present itself to you. You don't have to go looking for it. Okay. Lots and lots of paperwork is the reference I get with it. <laughs> well, it's the government sector. What do you expect, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like I've got piles. Right. Okay. Interesting. I don't okay. know. I'm sure I'm sure I'll ask again and I'm sure we'll okay. revisit and maybe there's some more information that will come through. But There's yeah. a connection with Parliament with this. Okay. All right. So whether it's based out of Parliament, Parliament House or it's yeah. connected to a Parliament member. Okay. All right. All right. So but I'm seeing lots and lots of paperwork. Okay. I feel yeah. like I need to roll my eyes at the piles of paperwork because I'm <laughs> Uh, like I said, it's the government sector, so paperwork yeah. is. <laughs> yep. They got to double cover everything and triple well, cover. <laughs> yeah, I just because I'm in the government now, as as mm. as you know, and yeah. I just had no idea just how bureaucratic it is. Oh. Like, I can't. Or, you know, there are some websites that I can't even go to without filling out a form. And I'm like, come on, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. They just like paperwork, more trees. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you have to get authorization. Like if you if you want to change something, you need to get your manager's authorization. And I was like, well, if it's wrong, why would I need to get authorization? What's my manager going to say? No. But like, it's exactly. Like it's just it's so stupid. It's like, oh, this person's <laughs> name is spelt wrong and we need to change it. Oh, have you got your manager's authorization? Well, no, because it's just wrong. Like it's correcting the, the mistake. <laughs> it's just I just I I don't I, I'm like, pick your battles. Just send an email yeah. to your manager and she'll just write back, yes, it's fine. That's it. It's um, covered. <laughs> yeah, and it's the same with my staff. They're like, can I change this person's phone number? I'm like, I'm not going to say no, am I? Like, no, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got to cover their ass, so to speak. Yeah. It's like yeah. when kids are at, at school, they're like, oh, can I go to the toilet? And it's like, are, are teachers really going to say no? <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. One, one teacher did to me a couple of times. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> they probably knew I was just trying to bludge. I mean, if you're just trying to bludge, just, but how do you know? Yeah, you, do you don't. You know? <laughs> That's it. So, right. yeah. Lots of things have changed a lot since I was at school too. So. Yeah, me too. Me <laughs> too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, honey. Well, it's good to see you. Me I too. look forward to that question next week. <laughs> we'll see if it, if it wants to come out next week. We'll see. <laughs> <For> sure. <laughs> Love it. Bye. All right, hun. Take care. See you. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's such a gorgeous song. Oh, now it works. I've got you on screen now. It's typical, isn't it? Hang on. I can't hear you, though. There we go. Let's try that. I was just saying, remember what you did and remember to do it for next week. <laughs> I've done it all the time. <laughs> I did get a thing like the other day when I came into this program to say that we're changing it, that they can get up to, I think it's 10 people on one oh. screen now. So mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. See, see you. Bye. Bye. All right. Let's try this button and see what happens. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Always have fun with that. All right. So I know there's a few questions there that I have missed and we are just on out of time. So what I'm going to do is I've pulled you all a card and this is a general card for everybody that I haven't been able to read for today. Now, for some reason, I am drawn to number three with this card. Um, obviously, we are in the third month and it's very much about um, that I get the timing of this card coming up is really good as well. So the card itself says, reconnect with Mother Earth. Grounding brings balance. Take time to restore your energy. It is very much about staying grounded and connected in that sense so connect with mother earth but also connect with the universe and open up the top of your head your heart your chakras and bring that balance in to be able to allow the guided messages to come up 
uh, come within and guide us as well. So many of us are going through transformation. So many people are going to struggle with the way that transformation is going and you may need to reach out and ask for help where you are drawn to as well. But it is about finding that balance. It is about stepping out of that scarcity of what you're missing in your life and that hustle and bustle as well and bringing that breath back within grounding yourselves for clarity and I've got spirit touching the top of my head at the moment um <laughs> so it is very much about aligning ourselves and uh, giving ourselves permission <coughs> excuse me to open up to what is to come in and receive what we need all right so please take time for you Take uh, time to rest, nurture yourself, rest and recover, recover if you are feeling burnt out at the moment. Um, and for those that are ill, I send lots of healing to you guys as well. Also, don't forget to check out my uh, Creating Epic Flow page if you want to focus more on bringing that balance in your life, creating that magic sort of thing. So it is a group that you need to ask to um to join and if you are serious about making change transformation in your life and you are ready to do the work please do jump into that free group as well where throughout the week i share um subjects tools and tricks tools and tr tips <laughs> it helps if i can get my my words out tonight um to help people as well uh ros says can you imagine 10 people on the screen at once oh thank god ros it would be like on a zoom meeting with 30 people or 50 people sort of thing so and ros is sending healing hugs and love uh, to all that is needed thank you Roz and that goes for me as well so just a reminder Roz and I due to me being um, in quarantine at the moment until Monday uh, have had to postpone our trip to Renmark this weekend which is probably a good thing in a sense because apparently you poor people in or I shouldn't say poor people you guys uh, beautiful souls in Renmark have got a lot of this going around up there as well um just recently as well so we are just postponing for probably two to three weeks but as soon as i get my final negative test back i will ros and i will uh, put our heads together rebook the accommodation and get in i'll get in touch with or oh, and ros will too with her clients with um, the rescheduled dates and times as well with that. So if you are in Renmark and would like to have a reading when we are there in two or three weeks' time, um, please do reach out to Roz on her Facebook page and you can reach out on my Facebook page and we can certainly just take your details and then get back to you um, with the, the booking link and stuff like that once we reopen our booking links all right and i do apologize for any inconvenience that um for those that we were meant to see this weekend because i had so many people today when i rang up and said i'm sorry i can't come um like was so excited that the fact that it was this weekend and it was happening so things happen it's not meant to be it will happen when it's meant to i'm not actually sick at the moment thankfully so i've just been a very close contact um so we're just taking we've got to take precautions and do the the constant four tests every what is it a test every second day for four tests four negatives and then we'll be back at it and back on the road all right thanks kim for that all right beautiful souls take care nurture yourselves please trust in your intuition if you need help with it check out my beginners level one <laughs> class online um if you want more information about that please do reach out kim you got me laughing honey she says oh gosh who gets to eat the rocky road <laughs> now ross ross has he made it yet we didn't think about that side i know he came back from his trip because you were going, we were going away and to make the rocky road. So Ros might get spoiled. No, 
if you're in Mount Barker, Rose, you can leave that at my doorstep. <laughs> I'm really joking. I don't need more chocolate at this stage. I'll save myself up for the road trip because his rocky road is absolutely amazing. So <laughs> it's not been made yet. <laughs> There we go, Ros. I like the way that's come up under my name. <laughs> Ros says that he hasn't made it yet. So big thank you to Tony for his gorgeous rocky road and the beautiful cakes he makes us at times and biscuits. We get spoiled. We really do. So he's an amazing man. All right, gorgeous souls. Um, I will leave you with that. Now, Ros and I are, I presume, still going to be live on Friday night. We just will be from the comforts of our offices rather than uh, off on the road. Uh, we're definitely swapping my identity constantly tonight. <laughs> That's part of uh, the monitoring in the background, I'm sure, Roz. All right, gorgeous souls. Thank you, Roz, for all the hard work you're doing in the background too. Okay, take care. Uh, reach out to me if you would like to make a booking. I am still doing online bookings at the moment, but no face-to-face -face for this week. Um, and that's to be reviewed next week. But leannewinston.com uh, is where you can find some more information on that stuff, on that side of it as well. All right, thank you. See you all for now. Bye.